Greetings grapplers, welcome to Judo for Jiu Jitsu. My name is Larry Keith and this is Brian Powers. And in this video, we're going to be doing some more cross sleeve techniques and we're going to set up an Ouchi Makakomi with our Kouchi Gari. So first let's talk about how we're setting up this grip. Um, again, we start off with standard Pretty neutral grip here, right? So go ahead and stand up here. So neutral grip. And then to get the cross sleeve grip, I like to reach across and grab right at the cuff, right about where Brian's wrist is here. And I pop down as I pop my elbow up and that gives me that cross sleeve grip on him. Now from here, typically I'm looking to draw him in, right? If he's standing more upright like this, I'm gonna get some movement from him. We're dealing with the jujitsu posture here, right? This wide stance, jiko tie position here. So he's in this defensive posture. Once I break the grip, that's fine, but it's kind of hard to get him to walk and take a step forward. So right now he's kind of set up for a really good uh, opportunity for me to do a Kouichigari. So I slide in and get the Kouichigari here by clipping his foot. So I come in, he goes down, and I follow him into my knee slice position. So, however, there is good opportunity here where when I go for that, he's gonna not want me to clip that foot and it's, his reaction is to step over and back. Let's scoop this face a little bit. So as I come in, I go to clip, he steps over and back. From here, depending on where I'm at, from the, on the outside, I'm gonna clip the outside of his foot with like a Kosoto Gari. Since I'm gonna be on the inside for this particular technique, I'm gonna step in, shuffle in a little bit, and I'm going for an Ouchi Gari. We call it Ouchi Makakomi because I'm actually gonna wind into it with him here. So I come here, my knee drops right behind his heel, and then I turn my own foot underneath my own bottom. Turn, and come to this position. Typically I don't like to land inside somebody's guard doing takedowns, I'd rather land in a, in a top control position. But this is fairly safe for me because I've got this cross arm grip on him. There really isn't a whole lot he can do to me from this position. So we're actually gonna move into something else off of this on the next time we demonstrate here. So again, I come in for my Kouchi Gari, he steps over and back, I come in for that Kouchi Makakomi, I turn, as he falls, that leg comes up, and I, I catch his leg, right? So I lasso around his leg, and I step over, bring my knee over, and tripod, and then come forward, reaching my hips, for that ankle lock. Let's go this way. So once again, we're here starting off standard grip. I get the cross sleeve grip. So I strip that grip off. I got the cross sleeve grip. Come in, go with you already miss it. Then I come in for my Ouchi Makakomi. Here, I turn, and put mine down. This arm comes back, lassos the leg. I step over, knee through, head down, or I can be up on my hand either way, and belly down to get the, the, uh, the ankle lock submission. All right, so once again, he's got his right foot forward, so I'm going for that Ko Uchi Gari, I miss it, come in for O oh, Uchi Makakomi. Come in, knee drops right behind his heel, and I turn and look over my right shoulder, right? Dragging my foot underneath myself. From here, easy for me to transfer my right hand to lasso his leg, I post, I step over, my knee comes to the ground. I keep my foot stapled on top of that leg right there. And I've got that leg lasso right at the ankle. And then when I arch in and extend, I've got a pretty good ankle lock. So that was a uh, Ouchi Makakomi with a cross sleeve grip set up with our Kouchi Gari. Now, sometimes the opponent's gonna step over and back like that and help us get to that, that other leg. Um, or it could be that he has his left leg forward already. Um, we're in a, you know, if we're in an asymmetrical uh, position here. Thank you for watching this video. If you find some value in it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and click on the notification tab so you don't miss any of future videos. And remember, when you learn a technique, you know one technique. When you learn a concept, you know a thousand techniques. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.